Oh, good <clears> phone. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go in the blue. And welcome back to another Linux GameCast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is no exception. We got a big show for you. Dude. I'm Vin Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all under Linux as always. And this, Jordan Swing, the illest motherfucker this side of the KT boundary. You know Not him, you. you love him. He's quite brilliant. And that's Pedro. And together with you, Hi. Chaperone Dynamic, <laughs> and then there's joining Pedro. us live, us for him. Okay, Voltron. What's up, beautiful people? Um, have we done anything fun, man? Are we, are we kind of like, hey, it's summertime. Let's go outside less? No, because it's like the Chronicles of Riddick out there, motherfucker. <laughs> you go outside and you catch fire. Fuck. <laughs> it's brilliant. What's it been like in uh, Toronto? I know Toronto gets surprisingly warm. Oh, it's been it's been like 30 degrees with like 50 to 70 percent humidity for the past week. It's miserable. It's been in like 30, 34, man. I, it's like the middle of the day. I finally decided to figure out. I thought it had like a valve stem leak on one of Turbo Jet tires. I was like, that's not what that is. Fine. Let's take it off and like dunk it. I'm like, ah, there was this little tiny microscopic thread of a nail, like like a framing nail for a picture frame it had picked up. Mm. That was fun to dig out. That was kind of interesting to dig out. But yeah. uh, let's see. Hi, every new person watching the show. A lot of people are downloading some stuff. We were like put on. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. There, 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 there was a wee little blog post there. Honestly, like I think the most exciting thing that happened to me this week is I found Pedro weed. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sweet set of Pedro's <laughs> sweet sativa. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I saw that. I'm like, okay, we have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the Black Magic Quad. It's back in the house, still playing with that, still trying to keep it from overheating, still doing everything to not get another motherboard. So, wish me luck on that. And uh, Pedro, what's new with you, man? I've been testing the game that will follow Dark Souls on the Tuesday streams. It did very well today. I managed to record for three hours before it crashed, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I think I finally nailed down the, uh, like, toning the settings down. There's still some artifacts on screen, but that's kind of inevitable. But it doesn't crash till, like, three hours in, so it's like, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take, <laughs> does it take the system down when it crashes? No, no, no. Oh. It, it, it just, uh psych faults and uh if you look at core dump ctl it's like oh yeah that went kaput cool beans <laughs> that's always good that's better than like when the system hangs and you're like oh boy. yeah um, it's like oh this the whole system is frozen can i ssh it no all right hold the power button down. that's like being live on a stream launching a game like that doesn't went full screen hey i don't know if you can hear or see me right now but um yeah <laughs> or, or 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 the other one where it just like it shows you your little offset screenshot of your entire screen and it just kind of hangs there and you're like yeah. um, like I, I don't know it, are, are, are we getting something back maybe you gotta, gotta gotta wait like five minutes unlike the right. horse the horse never cocks up its stream the horse can't cock up its cup then <laughs> yeah, can't. Can, it's the steam what it is it is it is not you know what I, I totally forgot to put the uh, audio on that for the second week in the row Nice. You're also a little <laughs> echoey after that too. It's a wide canyon. Speaking spe so, speaking of uh, cocked up, Ars Technica has a um, has an article here about uh, Jeff Keeley's documentary question mark um, about about Valve, and we get some we get some interesting uh, inter interesting insight and some confirmation into some stuff that was leaked a while ago, like uh, Mark Laidlaw's uh, S Pistol Three. Apparently, this was uh, actually not the leak to necessarily Half Life Three, but uh, a re it was a real project. It was a VR project, but. It's unclear if this was ever really a Half-Life 3 or just like Gordon Freeman's wacky VR adventure because it involved like tr time travel and whatnot. Um, 
there, there, there's also uh, there's also some stuff involving two other games that uh, Valve was working on, Borealis and um, a voxel one, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I guess I, I guess maybe they're trying to hop on the Minecraft craze. Mr. Uh, Freeman. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They're they're they're, 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 they're they, they they show how they do all the facial mapping for G Man. It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's ten bucks for the documentary, and I don't, I don't I don't know if you're if you're a little Valve curious, this will give you some answers, but less answers than you actually hope for. Well, one of the things I was kind of interested in is uh, what was it like two years ago on the Reddit's and the internets we had like the Half Life Three leak. It was like it's going to be yeah, an open yeah, world but- adventure, and Valve's like, no, that could never happen. And game journalists were like, no, that's just made up. No, no, that's what they were working on. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, they they have to deny, right? Not really. They're Valve. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, basically. But yeah, I bought the um, Half Life Alex or the final hours of Half Life Alex because, like, oh, it reveals all the things. And I read the first page, like, oh, this is an ebook with the occasional video and slideshow, maybe some audio clips that you can play. It's like good use of an ebook, but um, it requires Media Foundation. So basically, if you're going to try and, you know, read you it, you need Glorious Eggroll. MF Platt, baby. Yeah. Just go with the uh, glorious egg roll. And uh, speaking of which, uh, glorious egg roll put I, out a. I, I wasn't quite done there, sweetheart. Okay, right. <laughs> go on. Back then. it up. Oh <laughs> snap! Me, oh me, snap! Me. <laughs> Another thing they talked about in the documentary is the original VR set that they released, or didn't release, but they were developing internally. That mm-hmm. they decided not to because it was going to cost too much in their estimation. Like it was going to be like five thousand dollars. Which yep. is insane, which makes you think, like, you know, the index is probably, that, that's not the best that they can do. That's the best that they can do within the price constraint. Do you, do you think there would ever be a market for, like, an unlimited class of Valve's, like, you know what, this one's three grand? I could see maybe, because, like, there are a lot of VR cafes that are popping up. No one's in them right now because of the COVID, yeah. but... Mm-hmm. But, like, <laughs> if we ever get a return to normalcy, I could see, like... I could, I could I could see VR arcades looking into like I'm willing to pay like five thousand ten or ten thousand dollars a seat if I'm like if I can get like recurring income out of it so maybe maybe something like that. Uh, I I don't know about ah uh, the pink eye headset okay yeah. yeah that, <laughs> what, what what does it poop in your eyeballs? Does it like you put it on and it goes and then you get pink eye? What? Do you remember the E3 that they had a bunch of different VR headsets and a bunch of people got pink eye? because of that yeah. one of the things is man i mean people were kind of skittish of like sharing headsets at game conventions and stuff like that before now i think that's that industry's gone no yeah so i don't know <laughs> i mean unless you well, just like to live a little but <laughs> yeah, you just gotta chuck them chuck them in the incinerator after you're done and then you pay another five thousand dollars yeah, for a headset man. it's great for that's a brilliant business okay <laughs> now now with a problem. now we get to some glorious glorious egg rolls that's already that those already had two hot fixes. <laughs> All Whoops. right. So um, the first one was um, the going back to Proton 5.9, because if you've been paying attention to the show, I don't blame you if you wouldn't. I know I don't. Uh, they released the uh, Proton 5.11 GE a while back. But now they're going back to 5.9 with all of the patches uh, that they made for 5.11 backported to the 5.9 one, and they're calling this the stable version. But if the hot fixes are anything to go by, it's a bit of an ask, I suppose. Come on, man. I'm just like, pick a branch, <laughs> any branch, because I was reading through the. Oh, one. shit, it's Wednesday now. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. You shot forward and taught him. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> man i i don't know as, as someone who manages git repos i am not looking i i would not be the one who's looking forward to merging all this I stuff i was just back reading that like and i'm like bridge. oh buddy you've said well uh, just reading through it like you realize he fully realizes like i've set myself for a world or it's coming oh dude like <laughs> yeah like th- th- these are gonna be like three four day pull requests as you're going through every single commit trying to fucking normalize all this it, stuff it's gonna end up like that and it's like well then this is like the extra super stable branch but on tuesdays no no well yes. that's that's the thing they, they they miss a semicolon or a bracket in one of the fucking merges too and it just breaks everything like um. oh you 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 do not understand the level of fuckery that's going to be required to get this to like a maintainable state where someone can like try to 
fork the project in and play. Well, I mean, I mean, it's working with EAC with like uh, what is it? Paladins is back up and working, yep. so that's good. Um, Paladins and Squad actually launch correctly now. Uh, there was an issue with uh, Sword Art Online Fiddle Bullet, that one that I streamed a while back. That that Sword game bullets. has a multiplayer component, but yeah, it was locked behind EAC, so you could play the single player bit just fine. It's just a multiplayer that was having none of it and still mm -hmm. isn't having none of it because apparently the way that um, the way SAO Fatal Bullet handles um, EAC is a bit different than what, say, Paladins and Squad do. So yeah, Paladins and Squad should work with uh, 5.9. Also, also, sure. also, spoilers. <laughs> speaking of EAC, we're, we have some more news about that later. Upcoming. Yes. <laughs> First, we have to talk about VKD3, KD3, K3. Donkey Kong Super Street Fighter Edition. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is big, big well, not not out of yeah. hand. Not even a little bit. <laughs> not not a little bit. So this this is from uh, Hans Christian. Uh, the. DK D3D Proton. Uh, so this project here is attempting to kick the DX12 support for Proton into high gear, and they're going to be trying to get it as performant as possible uh, and as accurate as API accurate as possible at the expense of not supporting a bunch of older cards and drivers. Um, so there, the, in, in in the show notes, Ven and I had a little back and forth about. You know what? What? What is DX12 proper support actually? Mean? Okay. It, All right. Fine. So, um, I'll play you. You play me. All right, all right. No, <laughs> sure. Oh, no one, no one's, no one expects DirectX 12 to work on old cards. Well, actually, um, proper support goes about as far back as the I don't know the original. I don't know what was it like 600 series cards and the HD 7000s. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, all video cards support DirectX 12. Then. I mean, one. Uh, my my point was ones that <laughs> were released in the past. You, know, you, know, you, you broke character. You broke character. I win. Nurse. Uh, all right, <laughs> but but uh, but I mean, like that's 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 the point. Pe people who have uh, current DirectX 12 supported cards would expect under Proton. Hey, maybe this would work. Not necessarily. Um, but you know, the the fact that we can even get like 24 to whatever like 30 frames a second in DirectX 12 games now is pretty impressive. But they're they're trying to accelerate things along like the. BK, what? Well, Dixfix. That, that's the thing my brain is. Now you're yeah. confusing. And it, it, it makes yeah. sense because there aren't all those many uh, DirectX 12 games out there. So if you have a separate branch that focuses on those and gets it working to the point where it's within the same performance uh, hit that you get from regular Proton with most DX11 games, that's pretty good. I, I, I'd good. also I'd also have to think that like even in the future, yes, there are not a lot of uh, DirectX 12 games, but with the Series S coming out and Microsoft giving people cash, that mm -hmm. might and, change. And the Microsoft announcing DX12 Ultimate. But there, there's which... going to be that. It's going to be dir in 13. There's not going to be 13. It's going to be DirectX 12 Ultimate X1X. <laughs> yes. Turbo, tur turbo Edition, VK. the movie, the game. <laughs> right. This, I, is, I, I this mean, is kind of impressive, man. Um. It's yeah. good to jump on it, and to Jordan's board, man. I mean, it's absolutely staggering. It's, like, shocking. It was, like, that Resident Evil demo thing that I was, like, that thing around. It's, like, but whoa, it's running in DX12. Huh. <laughs> okay, let's put it on DX11 so we can play it, but... Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't think we, DX12 is going to be much of a problem except for... And even then, though, because you got to imagine, unless you're just doing the Xbox One XX, you're going to be doing a Vulcan render. Because you, you want to get on the PS4, you want to get on the Switch, possible? Nah, yeah. nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Microsoft is like making DirectX 12 for Linux. It's going to be great. It's going to mean that Vulcan's just going to go the way of the dodo, man. If NVIDIA exposes that on, you know, their Linux drivers, yeah, eh. that's possible. Nah. <laughs> nah, that's crazy talk, man. That's crazy talk. Primal Light, man. Uh, this is kind of interesting. We're going to talk about a few new games out. I'll tell you why this is interesting. This is made on Godot. So this mm -hmm. came out in July 8th. What is it? Mysterious blue creature in a red loincloth. Man, I'm sold hot. Do, 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 do. I want a girl with that. You, 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 you get to explore nooks and crannies, huh? Crannies? <laughs> crannies. Nooks and cr crannies. crannies. Right, Hack and slash your way to victory, leaving a graveyard of grotesque bosses. You know what? This looks very well done. Yeah, it's 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 very like 
sort of Metroid with a little bit of um, with a little bit of Mega Man, and the the graphical style reminds me a little bit of Golden Axe, not qu- not quite, but it, like it looks authentic sixteen bit, doesn't it? It 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 does. Do you know what it that does- looks like? Like a recent example, Blasphemous. It looks a lot like Blasphemous. Maybe Team Seventeen will wake up and actually release a Linux version of that. Nah. That'd be nice. Doesn't require an operating system. <laughs> no though. operating. Yeah. A recommended, just a processor. Oh yeah, just ju- ju- just wave your Ubuntu Live oh, CD dude. over over your computer yeah, and it will get work. To pick and choose with, but it does <laughs> run on an Intel HD graphics, man. Forty six hundred. Come on. Indeed. Uh so one 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 other thing with this game that's kind of. I want to say unique the this day and age. Okay. It's very rare that you see that you see uh, like hipster pixel games with actual level design that's not procedurally generated. So yeah. this yeah. this one has like <laughs> levels. Dude, um, how much is it currently? It is currently... right now. It's uh, eleven pounds thirty nine. So it's over here, seventeen bucks, bucks Canadian. Mm. So yeah, like thirteen bucks. So yeah, fourteen ninety nine US probably. <laughs> Might have to take a look at it. I'm definitely. Curious. I mean, it looks like a decently uh, done platformer, but I, I want to support a the Godot. Godot bit is interesting. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. all right, I, I, I want to see how that, how that works out. But yeah, good news, everyone. Well, news. <laughs> as far as Linux is concerned, business as usual. Oh. Uh, trusted mode. Counter Strike Global Offensive has enabled trusted mode. Basically, if you have any kind of application running in the background that could or would be used to say capture any kind of what's happening with the game and maybe relay untrusted information to the game so that you would have an unfair advantage over everyone else valve have decided no now the game runs in trusted mode only and those untrusted applications will not be allowed to uh, interact with the game unless you pass the dash untrusted uh, launch option to the launch options on steam at which point uh, your trust score not entirely sure what that is uh, is negatively affected well that's better than the original uh, thing valve had it was like do it or else fuck out you know dash dash but they thought that was too long <laughs> yeah. so they shortened it um yeah o- 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 obs had a bit of a tweet they put out too they're like yeah, yeah well, game capture you're gonna have to you know disable disable the trusted flag until uh we can actually get it working um to which to which pedro retorted to which I decided, you know what? Let's just fire it up and try to record it. It's like, yeah, you you can still capture it in window mode, but wait a second. On Linux, technically, everything is a window. You don't have um, exclusive full screen as far as the GLX context is uh, concerned. So, and, you know, OBS on Linux doesn't have a game capture mode. You can only capture the whole screen or a window. So it's not, it's a complete non-issue. As far as Linux so, is concerned, so, business as so, usual. So <laughs> Linux, Linux, Linux playing CSGO members expect some bans coming real soon. Oh man, I, you know what? You know what? I think Valve like takes the right approach. Like just, just don't tango with the type of people that play CSGO on Linux. It's like, leave them alone. Leave <laughs> that, That's not problems. Pretty really. sure there aren't many, but yeah, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Man. Just don't tango. <laughs> However, not not to stop there. Team Fortress 2 updates, uh, they're still trying to get rid of the bot problem, the infestation that's been going on for months in the community, even to the point where I don't play Team Fortress 2, but I know about the bot problem. <laughs> They've done a couple of things, man. Uh, you know, they're still just trying to shake it out and get it done. But uh, what was that issue that, you know, they killed chat, but voice was still working? Yeah, it's like... Uh... One of the, I think it's the first, yeah, it's the first one. Accounts that are unable to chat in matchmaking are now also restricted from sending voice chat. It's like, how did you not do that from the get-go? Revolve, shut up. Um, they <laughs> updated the vote kick process, so it'll automatically vote yes for anybody who hasn't already voted. All right, that's yep. good. Uh, matchmaking ba- badges and some cosmetic stuff, but... Good luck. That's still a very active game for as old as it is. It is, man. Ah. <laughs> but but the yeah, but like 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 most communities on Steam, those are the people who like TF2 is their game. They they've stuck I with think it it's, for. I think it's that, but I think they get a, a drizzle, if you will, of new player because it's free to play. It it yeah. is, and also like the it still gets a lot of free like word of mouth because of the memes. TF2 yeah. memes are still fucking everywhere, so it's still yeah. yep. in the public conscious. <laughs> Or consciousness, so 
So I'm glad they're cleaning it up. Uh, did anyone? Oh, Pedro took it. Finally. Good. I saw that it, no one had picked it, so I did play this game for a little bit. Uh, when I until I started to realize, wait a second, this Tales of Magiol is insanely deep. And if you would like more <laughs> stuff for your already stupidly in depth the roguelike Phantasm adventure, tree. finally, I don't. Yes, dude, uh, Tales of Magiol one seven beta one is well, it's here. You can uh, opt into the beta and just. Does, does Much like the last time we covered this really game, just have that <laughs> as a bug. Who 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 wanted the shuddering shunt bug fixed? I mean, boo! <laughs> I, man, man, I, if if you if you scroll up to their headlines, it's like, "Come test our new necromancers." When I first read that, I'm like, "Come taste our new necromancers." What? <laughs> what is happening here? I'm not licking any bones. Now you might be thinking, "Well, this is." you know, some modern 2.5 D or isometric juggernaut. It, yeah. It's net hack. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a roguelike. It, it is 100% a roguelike true to its word, completely uh, turn-based. And the more you look into it, the more you find it's like, Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do. Oh, it's one of those games. Is it? Here's and what it I does don't get though. Yeah. That is a four pack. So what do you do immediately <laughs> when you see four pack, you look over to the right and you're like, and it's single player? No, the, the, this is if you want to inflict this on your friends. Yeah, they also have like the various <laughs> you, volumes. You get a friend infliction discount. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, they have like different campaigns as well that you can load. And you know what? It, it, is, it is nice that a project like this is so concerned with game balance and is like routinely updating their game and constantly tinkering with stuff to try and, you know, respond to their player critique, which is not, which is the thing you don't really see in a lot of games. So. Good on you for that. Yeah. Uh, Tales of Taj Mahal. I keep wanting to say Tales of Taj Mahal, but oh, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they probably couldn't call it that. They, <laughs> they, 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 they probably know. It's it's like um there 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 is I um, I was walking by a restaurant today and it's literally called S O M Thai restaurant, like some Thai restaurant. Some Thai. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's just like where where are you at? I'm not some Thai restaurant. Yeah. Hey man, they fucking leading restaurant pun name game. They got that locked down. Oh um, yeah. But to this game, I mean, it's good to see something getting these types of updates eight years after release, man. You yeah. Know. It, yeah. It, it means that the devs actually care about the project and they yeah. care about the community. And so they like the player base. So. If you want the ultimate roguelike, this one is very, very slowly with every single update getting there. <laughs> It's I, actually, I don't know. I, I would still think like something like Dwarf Fortress is more ultimate roguelike, but that's also I mean, a, that's like a still getting updated too. So yeah, that, that, and, and that, 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 that's also like a full on reality simulator. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, talk about you don't mess with the types that just play that. Yeah, it's the like people, people who don't play it. two more hours of Dwarf Fortress. Indeed. Coming up next, we got some brand new NVIDIA drivers and cheaters on Linux. Rejoice. You can finally pwn noobs and experienced players under one. And if you'd like to role play some um, weird fantasy Shiver about... Shiver me limbers. Uh, <laughs> you know, us missing certain limbs and having uh, wooden stumps as replacements, well, you can fund Do what uh, that you want particular because kind of, pirates, of fantasy. Like, straight up missing some digits? I don't know. <laughs> Yar, me father was you a tree. You are a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If we, you know what? We, we, don't, we don't care who your father is. We don't care who your mommy is. Nay. We just care that you use Linux. And if you yeah. like are promoting of Linux, you should maybe consider supporting us. Um, head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Move your mouse over the support button. There's lots of options for you to click on. Lots of ways to support us, like uh, Bitcoin, LibrePay, PayPal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The best way to do it, though. Hey, buddy, we're the, getting pretty good at uh, Young and Blood. We we're we're getting better. I think. Check check <laughs> check in next week. <laughs> Check 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 in next week, but um right. yeah uh the be the best way to support us and the way to get all the cool rewards is to head on over to patreon.com slash rewards Gamecast. rewards what are you talking about what we, could we reward you offer? more hugs? more Can us pirate more hugs. us <laughs> Pir pirate hooks because or pirate hooks yes Anyways, yeah, um, being a Patreon is pretty cool. Uh, for as little as a buck a week, you can get access to our Discord channel um, a little bit more. You get access to the show notes where you can, you know, help us put together the show, make suggestions, make corrections. We are sold out of executive producers, so no more. Are we actually? That. Yeah. Do, can can oh, we yeah. increase Zero that? Zero out of 15. 
I know. <laughs> you know what? True story. Here's a true story. I increased it once. I wanted to keep it that to a limited thing. So if we, you know, especially like when we're doing, we do a live video version of the pre-pre super shows and for executive producers. And if we ever want to bring people into like that, I didn't want it to be like 50 people. Keep it nice yeah. and manageable. That, so, that yeah. That's fair. But maybe, maybe maybe more people want to execute and produce us. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, you you also get an extra hour of Linux Gamecast goodness. We record our little setup thing and we put it on on the Patreons. There's even a little live stream that you can... podcast format. Podcast format. There's there's the there's the video as well. Yeah, um, it's terrifying. It's great. You hell. You can even actually come into the pre pre super season and talk to us, but no one does that. No one does. But if, it's if you like if, an you, if you want to be the rule. first. Yeah. If you want to be the first, <laughs> you can you can do it. You can buck the trend. We gotta thank some new Patreons for it. Uh yeah, we do. though we got we got uh, the only Tiki, who is a new executive producer, and the last one. Nice. The last one. Oh yes. So so m- maybe we have to engage Highlander rules if we want more uh, executive <laughs> no, producers. Here we are. Boom. Yeah. What? And we gotta we gotta thank uh, Captain Zero. Uh they increased the <laughs> pledge. So thank you very much. Thanks, you guys. man. That helps us make this show. Uh it's kind of gotten unhinged it's gotten out of control i mean comparatively speaking for you know us three yahoos we got jill and we got everybody in the community helping us out and that's all it is i mean it is a dog and pony show to be doing it at the level we're doing it it's gonna be very expensive this month um speaking of expenses we got a store if you want to add some Linux Gamecast related expenses to your credit cards, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah, we 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 got, we got t-shirts, stickers, we got no uh, coffee packs. mugs. No, f- fuck you, when you yeah. lack of fanny packs. I quit. Ah! Do you do you think um, we can get like a fanny pack, like a Bandero type? Like, oh, like, double uh, fanny the, pack. The, yes. The the the, 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 the dual fanny pack bandolier, one yeah. on the back, one on the front. Yep. Like maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe maybe we should take some photos, like with someone modeling that. I, I, I think mean, that would, that, that would sell them. A setup like that could probably put a virginity oh. shield of like six meters around any individual. Dude, I just realized something that where you come from determines where you wear the fanny pack. Because if you're from Britain, you wear it on the front. If you're from the states, you wear it on the back. No. Yeah, I'm Portuguese. I always wore it on the side. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there, there, there you go. I was gonna make that joke anyway. The world according to Jordan. Hey, if you buy us anything for our studio, actually, there's one thing in there. Don't buy because I, I, fair warning. I said I will disown you, which I will. This is our fine upstanding cannibal wall. Um, you know, it's a good way to publicly shame anybody who's fiscally irresponsible enough each and every week because sometimes you'll like end up down there. (laughs) And you'll be reminded about your poor decision, so I suggest not to do it. But uh, what do we have for the news this week? Drivers, yeah, drivers, yeah. It's it it is a very LGC news type of situation. <laughs> Linux X sixty four. Oh, how I love the four fifty fifty seven. You know, this came out what on the ninth, Ben. What's in this? Pretty much everything that was in the uh, beta drivers. Yep, it's, it's a bunch of Vulcan beta. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's the not beta beta. Uh, they fixed that thing with the KDE plasma. Really? All I well, let's see. Enable GPU screens by default on Xorg. Uh, okay, that's the thing. Display mode not being set. Fixed a bug that caused X server to crash. But yeah, most of the stuff is like HEVC 10, 12 bit decode support for VDA PU and some power management stuff. Nothing. Earth shattering? I didn't see anything in here. I mean, you know, you're adding the VK create samplers and stuff like that, but uh did you lads see anything that just blew you away? I'm I'm a, I'm always yeah. interested to see what kind of development they, they add for like the prime stuff, just because I know there's a lot of folks on NVIDIA laptops. Uh-huh. And the support the support is definitely getting better, but like for a good two years, if you had an NVIDIA card on your laptop, you had a very expensive Intel laptop. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that caught me off guard and it's like oh they're getting rid of the uh support for the nvidia video capture code til there was an nvidia capture yeah code. they made one i checked <laughs> uh unsurprisingly i somehow knew about that because i was looking on ebay for cheap capture cards back in the day i'm like what the sweet fuck is this nvidia made no. yeah you did yeah. look at that huh yeah. i guess you sold two because i've never heard of that <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, whatever the case may be, this is the last driver that supports it. The fire, uh, 450 series is the last one. 
that that'll be supported. Send us some hate mail if you actually own one and actively use it. Yeah, send us a picture of one or something. <laughs> send, send us a picture of you in a bathtub cradling one gently. With a, with a pirate hook. <laughs> with, a, with a pirate hook and rose petals everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and Good like news, Celine Dion everyone. playing in the background. Go, yes. Go the actual uh, easy anti-cheat uh, thing that Jordan hinted at earlier is here. And David oh. Torok, the same uh, the same person that was posting about it last week. You can play as back. Wait, landscape. Uh, uh, Okay, when when you said yes. David Turok, I'm like, what? The guy with the bow and the dinosaurs? Yeah, David. That's N- his name. Not that Turok. It's ancestral. Turok. <laughs> David. <laughs> but yeah, no. In collaboration with Guy fifteen two hundred and forty one, if that's his real name, and fixing some early issues with EAC and Wine, a lot of the testers are getting playable frame rates and encouraging results from a range of titles, including Apex Legends, For Honor, Paladins, uh, Cuisine Royale. Uh, Halo, uh, Master Chief Collection, Rust, and Dead by Daylight. So, yeah. So you can finally about... play Rust on Linux? Well, they do point yes, out this you is can currently... play Rust on Linux again. Currently, <laughs> use at your own risk. Yes. Oh, yeah, ab- absolutely. If you get flagged as, like, trying to circumvent Edgy Sheet, you are, Th- you this are getting mode, your man. ass banned. Yeah. Though, though, one one thing that's kind of interesting, though, is they're saying we're seeing we're seeing games playable at acceptable frame rates. But as we've discussed on the show many a time, that's kind of a subjective turn. <laughs> some people are happy with like twenty nine frames a second. Some people are not. So that that's definitely the problem with um. Yes, it runs acceptably for me. It's like show me your FURPS counter. Wow. Yeah, the, the, enable that on Steam and take a screenshot, please. Uh, uh, well, but yeah, you know, it's not working right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only game out of all of those that they mentioned that I care about is Paladins. And yeah, if I can go back and play that again on Linux like I used to be able to many, many moons ago, I would be happy and maybe I would spend less time playing um, Soapbox Race World. Real question. I, I, I'd, I'd Real be happy question. With the... <laughs> what the hell is Paladins? It's that uh, not Overwatch. It's like, yeah, it's free to play Overwatch. Mm. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'd actually be a little happy if we got like the Halo Master Chief Collection like actually working on uh, like with multiplayer and everything under Linux because Halo is a fun game. I don't care if it's like a Microsoft published game; like it's fun. It's a good we can game. do it, but we can only play it with Xbox controllers. The the Dukes. I don't we, have we, one. We, so we, you we guys all have buy fun. Dukes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll buy we'll buy Pedro Il Duce. So <laughs> we very well may have to eat. Some shit. Atar- I thought we were going to have to eat an Atari VCS. No, that's your solution <laughs> to everything. This, as with most things, isn't it. You can't eat it. Uh, the long overdue. AMD Ryzen powered. Linux powered. Atari VCS console will begin shipping in October. This comes from PCGamer.com. You can find all of this in our show notes. So they they claim, you know, backed by 11,000 people, raising 2.4 million pounds um, it I was s- right there. What? <laughs> the supposed date. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they're saying shipping by early October, but they're saying people should get it by December 24th, just before Xmas. Let's give them. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like, well, you know, right this- there. <laughs> You know, it wasn't supposed to be on like 2017 or something like that. Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Here's okay. Fitted as for the console itself, the VC. Fuck you. PC gamer with like Jesus. all the pop ups. Yeah, right? Yep. It, here's the video over here that I'm like, go away. Um, is built around AMD Ryzen embedded SOC, a really old one apparently, uh, uh, fitted with 32 gigs of storage, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and runs custom Linux OS. I almost have money. It's going to be Android. I it's it's going to be Deepin. <laughs> um, Did you see that video? Someone saying it's like, oh no, it's the new Ouya. It's a massive scam. Someone posted that on Discord. Bitch, I've been saying this is <laughs> Ouya to Electric Boogaloo for like two years, man. <laughs> don't, don't you mean Tuya? No, I didn't. The two, start yeah, it. yes, <laughs> dude. But um, yeah, no, I'll believe it when I see it. So uh, I won't eat any thing. I still don't believe this is what I'm, wor- I'm not even worried about. This is stores are taking pre-orders. So 
Oh yeah, because you, you're accepting pre-orders, so it's absolutely a real thing, right? Uh, this this is you don't back out of this though. This this it's is going to be the oh yeah, isn't it? <laughs> if if you bail out after you've taken pre-orders, that's the end of your fucking project because you're gonna get sued. Yeah. So this is are you though? Oh fuck yeah, they're gonna come back, man, because they're like, yo, we got this money. What do we got to do with it? And they're gonna be have, they're gonna have contracts. Nobody's going to fucking buy it. So I'm saying there has to be something physical for them. Either that or this is some serious bullshit artistry. But <laughs> either way, unless they have something to turn up, which I hope they do for the backers at least, um, yeah. shit will be eaten, preferably on fire. I'm curious, like the 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 um, like the, the 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 comedy writer brain in me is like, watch them op open up your Atari VCS box, and it is just like leftover ouyas that these guys have been collecting over the years. I the comedy <laughs> thing is like you crack it open, and it's like the the front torn off of um, a Amazon tablet <laughs> with just bodge wires and stuff going out to the out controls. You know, it's it's it's, it's just sparking, and there's like text on the screen appearing like "kill me, kill me, right. kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me." Um, just uh, all, all we're saying is the first thing you need to do is uh, as soon as you power it on, just double check, say Alexa, just to see what it does. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Byte Path. Byte Path. Uh, it's an open source game. Uh, it's on GitHub. The link to that's in our show notes. Um, and they claim it is a replayable arcade shooter with a focus on build theory crafting. So you can like customize your ship and change how it plays that and blah, blah, blah. Pretty. It does. Um, getting it up and running under Linux, though, is a little more challenging because I love when install when like build instructions refer me to a Reddit thread. That's oh. always that's always a good sign. You, you got to love it. Love and not found. Love Oh, well, yeah, because yeah, well, because it's built on Love Two D, right? You, right. You, 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 you get it. Yeah, the the the, the to get it running up and on, or get it up and running under Linux too. You have to patch the source code, which is like something you should not have to do. This is what like this is the kind of shit like CMake is for to support like yeah. multiple build systems. <laughs> but you know whatever that that that's that's too much effort um but it, it is available it's free for your perusal theoretically it should work once you patch it because love is pretty portable when it comes to the cross-platform stuff apparently except for a couple dev files so um, do, you, do you think the like barrier to entry on this is like you know what i can make this so fucky to get up and running or you know what you can give me a dollar you could <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean that's a good business model. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's basically what the source Reddit. code. Build it yourself, or you could just pay me money and download and play. Well, the be, that's, 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 that's the Red Hat model. That's Dude, the Red Hat model. Hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> this is the model for the DAW that I'm using as our digital mixer. It's the outdoor thing of like you can build it yourself, but I'll give you a prepackaged binary that works with all the little bits switched just right for fourteen bucks. Hmm? Indeed. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. but you know, <laughs> I you know what, but bringing bring up the Steam stuff, it is nice to see open source games like having Steam as a support method. Like, do, oh, it absolutely do more of that. works, man. I mean, prepackaged and it's going to be supported and it's going to get updated, preferably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unless it's Warzone twenty one hundred, don't buy that off Steam because it's not from the developers. Indeed, um, yeah. Duke Nukem. Every, 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 everyone loves uh, E Duke, Ooh, Dukey Duke. Yeah. Wait, so, uh, what does th Duke this... Nukem say? I'm all um, a lot of ass. Boobs. Yeah. Pirates. Mm, <laughs> I love pirates. Those goddamn right. alien yeah. bastards keep shooting down. Goddamn them pirates. Right. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the Linux Duke Nukem soundboard cast. <laughs> we're, we're just going to do this for the next hour. Uh, no, uh, but there, there's, uh, there's a. Um, what, what what do you, what do you call it? Red Red Nukem uh, is the is the version of the build engine that supports this, and now they've added uh, support for if you just toss the N sixty four ROM dump in there, it'll use that as the, the the texture source as opposed to the original PC version, which is nice. But it also made me think like this this emulator kind of seems familiar, and then I realized that Red Nukem is McUnder backwards. Maybe I've watched, I've been watching too many Kubrick movies. Are you going to put a bow on that? What's that mean? <laughs> we wait I with think anticipation. I that was it, and everyone missed it. Everyone, yep, that, that that's what I do. Not everyone's going to get it, but the right people will. Yeah. E Duke 32 <laughs> technology, man. Um, optionally, it, it you can add blue. MIDI tracks from Duke 3D, the GRP. So, you need to put that in. I don't know, man. I, I've never looked at uh, 
Duke Nukem 3D on the PC and been like, you know what? You know what? Those textures, little too sharp. My friend was uh, still was uh, back in the day supporting the um, the E Duke 32 um, builds on Fedora because he really loves Duke Nukem. So, yeah, you know, my to my point is like throwing the N64 ROM out of just like a morbid curiosity. Like, ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, not everyone has access to like. Wait, it came, it came on. That one came on CD ROMs, right? CD, it's everywhere, dude. It would. Yeah. I guarantee you, it's a thousand times more effort to get the fucking N64 ROM than it is the yeah. asset pack for it. <laughs> if if that's what you got, then you can use it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say no to that. different um, end level screen colors. I guess. Mm. <laughs> Damn you, colors! It'd be great if it. Oh man, see. Now I would like I, okay I see the challenge mode though I'm trying to look for a way what would make me interested in playing this if it locked out the keyboard and gerbil it forced you to play it with a um if it made you play no if it made you use vi controls like hjkl to move around I can figure that out Yeah <laughs> Go with it. All right. <laughs> Colin WQ. Up next. Blues. So up next is six blues, which uh well it's we've had open source engine reimplementations for a number of different games, but we hadn't had one for the Blues Brothers platforming uh game from the early nineties. It, it, it's because six is on a mission from God. We're on a mission from God. Yes, and uh, God, yeah, I, I love this that one so much. If you have the oh, uh, DOS too. version of the game, the shareware uh, version, or the full retail one, uh, you can just pull the files and drop it in, and it works. What are the exotic mods? I am going to switch over to. Boy, that's a danger click. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I remember playing this a lot uh, back in the, you know, I was just finishing primary school, starting uh, whatever comes next. It's like sixth grade, I think. Uh, and um, yeah, I remember playing this a lot in the after school activity club while my parents were still at work. He's like, oh, I can't go home. So after school activity club, and they had a computer. And they it had two games that we could play. It was uh, Keen Commander 4 and Blues Brothers. So yeah, <laughs> I played a lot yeah, of them. I, 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 lo I love Keen Commander. It's the, it's the uh, sequel to my favorite game, Wolfenstein Castle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, was kind of, I had right, no Commander Keen. <laughs> idea that there was a uh, Blues Brothers game. Period. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, it, yeah, it, uh, it, 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 it makes sense. It's actually the exact from... same game uh, as uh, Fox. Uh, I can't remember what the subtitle was, but it was like same 2D platformer, same kind of thing, same level texture display, swap out. Like, yeah. yeah, but basically. but I mean, like that that was that was the majority of games back then, right? And every everything had a fucking tie-in because the like it was like ah, it's a video game, it's cheap, no one buys those theatrical tie-in. Oh man, <laughs> I mean, I mean, ever 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 since the whole ET debacle, they're like, yeah, we're not gonna give you money to make our licensed game. Uh, hashtag Spider-Man uh, games. Um, or Batman. Spider-Man's. Except for, I was going to say Superman <laughs> games, but they learned from their mistake. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of N64, yeah. Mm. What, what, what was what was the last good Superman game? I'd have to say something like Injustice, honestly. I, like the, the, that's just a fighting game, though. It's just Mortal death. Kombat, but with DC characters. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's it has Superman in it. And he's like a principal <laughs> character. It's a technicality, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just like just like my favorite Spider-Man game is Tony Hawk's Pro Sta Skater Two, because he's in there. Pro Skater Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in there. He's he's an unlockable. Pro Skater Two. Pro Skater Two. Pro Pro Skater. <laughs> yeah. Spider. Spi why, why do you, why do you think Spider-Man does this so much? He's testing your prostate. Because he's got dual buttholes. And his dick falls off. There you go. Hey, before we get out of here, we'll give a little <laughs> shout to itsfoss.com, man. Uh, and this Google ad thing, I think. All right. Uh, they did a little bit of rundown about, uh, do you love podcasts? 15 Linux-focused podcasts for you. This has been updated as of June 28th, 2020. Why are we talking about it? You know why we're talking about it. Because we're somewhere. All the uh, way at the bottom. At the bottom. Where do we like to be? <laughs> Close. Below the radar. There's like three up from the bottom. <laughs> Destination <Yeah>. Linux. <laughs> uh, late night Linux. Uh, who do we have? Linux Unplugged. Jesus aside, bro. Um, <laughs> Sunday morning Linux <laughs> review. Uh, Smart. The Linux. 
tech link show i did i did not know about this one uh mm. discussion all right we'll check that out choose linux i think that one's no more uh command line heroes i know it's still around um linux for the rest of us linux for the rest of us man that just came out from the <laughs> ps4 uh <laughs> linux headlines <laughs> jupiter broadcasting linux for everyone that might i don't know one of these a i couple. thought that said le- i thought that said lesbot transcriptions and i got very confused linux gamecast the name pretty much explains what it's all about not really but i that's like nine that's percent like a thir- that's, yeah <laughs> of what we do that's a general sweeping statement from someone who clearly <laughs> doesn't listen to pseudo show <laughs> um arrested devops good naming come on mm-hmm and mm-hmm. the Linux auction roll, uh, which Just is continued. no more. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Uh, it's always wrong show again. See, uh, <laughs> it's good to be on list and stuff. We've definitely got, I, this, I'm not knocking this. I'm not going to knock this till the end of the month when I get pay uncle, uh, Amazon, <laughs> um, because <laughs> it's traffic, but as with all podcasts, we, we don't have a way to know if people are listening versus just downloading. Like, how many times have you heard of a show and you're like, oh, yeah, let me get their RSS feed and you're forever, like, not listening, but motherfucker, you're getting it every week. Never. No, that's my that, that that's my Steam games library. <laughs> Usually in podcasts, if I download it, I listen to at least the first one. If I don't like it, goodbye. <laughs> I stream everything now. I don't even download podcasts. I have, like, two or three, like, WTF podcasts, like, emergency, like, power goes out, nuclear holocaust like okay, uh, that'll be background music while I'm making the time dilation. I don't, I, I don't know because like a, a lot a lot of podcasts are either like on YouTube already or have like a SoundCloud where you can just listen to it in the browser. So like I don't I don't know I don't usually listen to podcasts on the go. I'm usually using them as background noise when I'm you know doing something else. So yeah, just having them open in a YouTube window that that's usually how I consume. Yeah, them. that you're you're the generation. Uh, you're at the very end of that generation, but definitely your age and younger. That is, that's like yeah, that's podcast YouTube. You just minimize it. That's why the YouTube thing's like, <laughs> hey, you can now listen to YouTube videos on Android without having the video up. Yeah, they know what's up. That's where people watch. <laughs> took them a while. Yeah, it took them. <laughs> that um, used to be a red only thing. Oh, is it on the regular one now? Finally. Oh, did they actually move to the regular one? I don't know. Or like, cause, no, because because I know there's also like YouTube Music that lets I'm, you do some of that. I, for, I, I, I'm in I don't my, know. I have been using YouTube Vanced for a while. I read Tower <laughs> Man because as you, like, just like, what? I, I'll give you a couple of bucks a month. I don't get ads. Done. <laughs> Easiest check I can write. <laughs> and it helps creators. All right. All right. Coming up next, B a Walker. B E a Walker. B a Walker. Yeah. B. You can throw a chair at me now. The BJ. BJ, BJ, BJ the BJ Walker and the Bear, <laughs> who also gives BJs. Up next. I was going to plagiarize James Cameron's speech from South Park, but then James Cameron would be suing two people. This is uh, Be a Walker. It's by Tequila Bite Studios, stun on Unity. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks US. What is it? Take control of a huge mech on an alien planet, shoot and trample the natives, avenge your brother, or forgive his killers? Question mark. Join the rebels to restore peace in the exotic planet of El Dorado. Mm. Uh, Ven bought us some keys for this because it was uh, on Patreons sale. Patreons bought us some keys for this. Ah, Ven's credit card mm-hmm. empowered by Patreon <laughs> bought us some keys. Well, all right, technically, Ven, because getting a hold of that that takes everyone. Anyway, we got him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the, the point the point is someone paid for it, and it was ultimately you folks. Uh, let's let, let's get let's get into it, Ven. How how this play, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, over here on you know I need to fix this. Uh, can I walk and chew bubble gum at the same time? What do you think? Maybe. Probably not. Probably not, (laughs) man. I don't know. That's the video source. Let's not mess around with that one. There's the Venn camera. Hey, I'm up here. Okay. So on Debian 10 with the 1920X Threadripper, 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe drives, 2060, all that. As you might expect, it ran like a bit of all right. I mean, it really did. Uh, You know, for me, I kind of hope that I enjoyed full screen UHD because that was my one option. I, I could play it in 30, 40 by 2160, which is the maximum resolution of my primary monitor. I had full screen and I had windowed mode, which was just a window around 30, 40 by 2160. And no other options too. I couldn't get it to change anything else. And uh, the only way I found to like aim, you see how Pedro is doing his uh, wiggle wiggle. 
you, you wiggle, can, wiggle, wiggle. yeah, you, you can do more refined aiming with the PS4 controller, but it's using the uh, touchpad, and you would have to have some cryptic hand configuration that I couldn't manipulate my digits into, so that was kind of useless. But outside of that, uh, you know, you just got to learn how to do the pews when you shoot and you kill and you get fucked because you will constantly because it's a very difficult aim in this game. But I did get 60 plus UHD on the 2060, so at least it's got that going for it. My biggest gripe with this game, though, is why the hell was I punished for squishing the scientist? Right? That mission is <laughs> bullshit. That, that pissed me off the first time because I failed. It pissed me off so much back, I went on a squishy rampage. I waited until like, I had a bunch of them lined up. It's like, get out of the fucking way of the giant robot that's stomping through, right? Yes. Uh, no, I'm going to sit here and check my clipboard. The game is very inconsistent because I can make a murder carpet of squished natives. Nobody blinks an eye. No. No. Dimensionally compress one boffin? Mission failed. Ooh, not happy about that. Bottom line is stomping things be fun. I mean, it is. I mean, if you're looking at it right now, you're looking at the video like, oh, yes, I get to crush people. Look at the happy little bloody trails. Yay. There is a bit of strategy to painting the forest red since, you know, the innocent natives can be on like one of two planes. They have like the less left stomp and then the right stomp that we up top up, up. And then there's the oh, my God, get it off my head. They just fall out of the sky as they do. Uh, what do I like? Dislike? Okay, one thing I really dislike, you do have a nanny oxygen meter that can just die in all the fires. Uh, standard health meter as well. Uh, both can be re-upped by purchasing drones, and the sport drones come do that thing. Your pew-pew stick, bit of a cooldown on that, so you know it will definitely keep you stomping. And that's kind of, I mean, one of the main mechanics of this game is squish, squish, squish. There are a few modes to the game, but they're a little more than texture swaps, really. I mean, you get some different paint. And you're like, oh, you're playing as a different? No, you just painted the different mode. No. Okay, fine. Whatever. If that sounds like a complete and engaging game to you, it can be had for $9.99, even when it does handstands. But at the end of the day, this only makes me long for Hawken and a story mode to go with it. So I'm going to have to say my verdict for this is get ready for it. Get ready for it. Walking simulator. Only sort of one, because, you know, I, I didn't objectively outright hate it. Like these two. Yeah, I'm just raging hate boner. Uh, on Fedora 32 64-bit with the 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, it does boring. launch out of the box. I am giant robot feet now. No, I now I... Squish me, Pedro. Step on me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I would um, say there's probably port, but you know there is. There's no point. The, oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so on, on the 1080 Ti with the sync off, it gets to the tune of like 150 some odd FPS at UHD. So, yeah. Controls. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. And like the art style, it's okay. It's decent for the price range. Um, there There is certainly a lot more like amateur drawing that we've seen in games that have been subjected mm -hmm. to the chair position before. Didn't this you is... feel like you were like legitimately more properly fucked in the legs until you looked down like you're healthy and you're like, I'm doing fine. Oh yeah. Yep. The, 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 there's, <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll get to that too. The sparking um, but, like, in the fire. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the soundtrack though, completely forgettable. I thought like, what, 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 what could I use to describe the soundtrack? And then I realized I'd have to probably boot up the game again, which I don't want to do. <laughs> um, fun. All right, well, let's let, let's get into it. So, from the from the beginning, from the get go, it is abundantly clear that this is James Cameron's Avatar with serial numbers filed filed off. Um, um the, also, uh, hashtag Endor. Also, yeah, a little, <laughs> yeah. a little, a little, a little bit of Endor, but like the plot is one hundred percent. Oh, Avatar. the plot, but they get that's. An yeah, what are the and the blue guys, Wars, yeah. yes, and 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 and, and the natives. Oh boy, oh boy, I'll get to, I'll get to that. Uh, so the contr controls, that's kind of like the big sticky point here. And I went and checked the reviews because I was curious. I personally didn't like the controls, but a lot of people were like, "Yeah, no, it's part of the challenge. You got to place your shots. You got to be careful with like the dodging." And that's where the challenge of the game comes in. Um, but I personally find these controls kind of obnoxious. I mean, if I want this level of fidelity in a mech game, I probably want. One in first person that requires like the old school mech warrior battle station. That would be where I'd be okay with this sort of gameplay. Here with a side scroller, not so much. And like Pedro was gonna bring up Manual Samuel, but that was a gimmicky joke game. 
This is not. This tr attempts to take itself seriously. Um, last, like Vin said, there's a there's an O2 nanny bar. That one I'm not too big a fan of, especially because like really it's just a timer for the mission. That that's that's all it is. Um, and the story. <sighs> okay, so like colonizer narratives are a little passe in 2020, and I get that you can change sides midway through, but I'm not a fan of those kinds of tropes either. Like. It's it's kind it's kind of on the nose. It's a really basic plot. Um, if you're gonna try, at least for me, if you're gonna try and engage with this sort of narrative, you really have to lean into like a lot of the subtlety with, you know, the 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 victims of colonialism, the sort of moral conflict that these people have, if any. And this game just doesn't really do it from what I've played, especially. And yeah, I I don't want to be punished for squishing on scientists because fuck scientists, right? They they may have built my uh, my giant walking ATST, but. They're going to fall victim to it because that's the destiny of ATSTs. Also, no Ewoks. That was a little disappointing. I'm going to give it one share. I'm not a fan. Yeah. And over here on KD Neon, it with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launches. It holds 144 FERPs at 2560 by uh, 1440. So, yeah. It looks the part, and well, being a bit too loud, but I think we can thank FMOD for that. Um, it also sounds the part. It had everything to pass the mix with the working category with flying colors until I realized that you can't rebind controls at all. So, well, this hasn't happened in a while. Fuck you and fuck your game. I wasn't even in game proper, and I already didn't want to play any more of it. It's 2020, current year argument, be, be, be. How the fuck do you get off on not even having any kind of rebindable controls? Not having rebindable controls on the key uh, on the uh, controller? Sure. On the keyboard and mouse? Fuck you. Fuck you. All manners are sideways. Um... Uh, we had a vision for this game, and it requires you to have a very specific okay. control scheme. Real question: Did they say that, or are you just making that up? Uh, uh, this is what I'm assuming. Thank you. Good thing to point out. Yeah, th this is what I'm assuming because it is one of those kinds of games because it has a very specific controller scheme that you are being made to use, and. You'd like to change it because, oh, I don't know, maybe you're missing fingers in one hand. Fuck you. Fuck you in particular. So, uh, yeah. With a... If you have a fixed layout like WASD, like many games do, unfortunately, um... Step on him. Just on him. copy Aww. that. Copy that layout to the directional arrows on the other side of the keyboard. Many games in Unity get around, you know, not having rebindable controls by just doing that, and I'm okay with that, honestly. That works for me. It's still not ideal, but it absolutely works for me. And then you force me to use the controller to actually get the footage that you're looking at right now. And that was borderline passable, I guess. Uh, but I still had to have um, my left hand in this position the whole time because... That was it. If I expect, uh, if I was expected to walk and shoot at the same time, that's the only way I could do it. So it started giving me cramps on my left hand too, and yeah, like Jordan uh, hinted at, Manuel Samuel did it by not requiring you to have uh, mouse and keyboard input at the same time. If you're just playing with the keyboard, you could do it all on the keyboard. You would have both hands on the keyboard at once. This game, if you want to play with a keyboard, you have to have keyboard and mouse. Or use the controller. What kind of bullshit is this? I'm sorry. It's 2020. You don't get away with that. One chair. Oh, there you go. It's not... I don't know. Ven, Ven, Ven seemed to like it. Neither Pedro and I did. So, take 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 from that what you will i guess I, at no point did but, i walk out and say that i liked it i'm like that, that's serviceable as a game i mean i get it it's just it, it's walking yes it, it, it is very much a walking simulator less walking more hawking <laughs> uh up next we got some hate mail <laughs> yeah up next we got some hate mail i can't top that good night folks There's certainly been a while since I have had uh, 
bit of a hater aid for any kind of game. Have you ever had a brain I'm usually... tortilla? <laughs> I'm trying to get that out of my brain. <laughs> I'm failing so so miserably, what, so, but I'm trying. So, 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 what you're, so what you're saying is your brain is a tortilla? <laughs> what I'm hearing is not a definitive no. <laughs> No, that's very much a yes, because it's, it's very much there. Uh, but, yeah. If you'd like to uh, let us know how you disagree with our opinions on that particular game, or literally anything we said during the show, you can do so Brain very snacks. easily. You can, uh, you know, courier pigeon us a flash drive with your video of it, or, even easier, you can go to linuxgamecast.com and hit the contact button. Make sure to... Um, no, no, I don't. Uh, Zombie Pedro. <laughs> the, make sure to uh, pick LGC Weekly from the little drop down menu. That's uh, where you pick which show you'd like to send either some hate mail or some feedback for uh, the Wednesday show, or you can ask Jordan for relationship advice. There's even an other category, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Deal with it. Deal I, with my lawyer. So, wait, 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 wait. So, who, who do you who do you think would win in a fight? Zombie Pedro or Zombie Jesus? The zombie Jesus comes back to life. Oh, yeah, he's a zombie. Yeah, it, it depends. <laughs> I mean, if the zombie Jesus doesn't have remappable controls, Pedro's going to fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, so wait, the, the, the zombie Jesus use like... Zombie? No, 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 because he, he, he has up, down, left, right, right? It's a, cro it's a cross. <laughs> that, that's how zombie Jesus is D-pad only. It's D-pad, baby. Um, I can like, do that. <laughs> the D-pad is on the left. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so, so, so I, I think so, it was last week we fucked around and talked about a type of game that we know we, we often say eh, it's a type of game. You know the people who play it, they play it, and well, and this one is forever stuck in early access. It's seven days to die <laughs> from Wrath of Sork Sork Sorkras Sokras Sokras man. Check it out. He's like, yo, I'm one of the few. Who is both on Linux and hardcore seven day to die. Seven D two D fan. It's like R2D2. Yeah. I, I play on a Ryzen 2400 G. Good. Oh, it runs it then. All right. Good on you, little Ryzen. Uh, with the IG, IGPU. All right. Uh, 36, 1366 by 768. Medium settings uh, get acceptable. FPS. Hey, numbers. I like that. Never below mid 50s. See? All right. Cool shenanigans. Up. Uh, no stutter, native Linux version. So glad I didn't spend mega bucks on hardware just to play one game. People can take my low resolution monitors from my cold, dead handmaids. Well, will, will, will you take my low resolution monitors from my warm live hands? Because mm. I don't want them. See, I call shenanigans not because I've tried uh, Seven Days to Die specifically on the 2400G that is in the Steam box, mm -hmm. but. I have tried many, many other Unity games that are so much better optimized than Seven Days to Die. But can we completely so, rule yeah, out I call that shenanigans. This, is, this could just be one of those, like, <laughs> okay, I guess that works. I mean, he's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's also playing. I'm going to have to unplug the 1650 from the Steam box and <laughs> so, try so, it now. But so, so Pe Pedro, <laughs> question. Are you playing those games at 1366 by 768? Yeah. Though? That was Unmedium. 720p. Most of them I was playing at 720p because the integrated Vega 11 on the 2400G is not that powerful. No. So I played most of the games at 720p. 13, 13, <laughs> 6, 768 on medium. I mean, you, you, I don't, you don't think I, you, I, it I, could I, squirt out 50? No. <laughs> Considering distance was struggling to hit uh, 40 at 720p. The important important thing is, are you going to take the Pepsi <laughs> challenge? Oh, I will. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, I have a 2400G. Well, 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 Pedro will report Rath back next week. R Wrath of Sakura. <laughs> Send us some screenshots, man. Rub yeah. them in Pedro's face. Do it. Mm. Cover, But you got to cover them in brains first. That's what we found out. Tortilla brains. <laughs> What's Rob up to, man? Rob, man. 
Rob is uh, he's, he's talking the about the developer uh, the of the game. the game we threw chairs at last yeah. week. Yeah, he <laughs> says uh, thanks for reviewing our game and the chairs. Strange things with the controllers and the icons, controllers and different platforms is a bit of a nightmare. We base the icons on the text the controller sends to Unity. Default is Xbox, and if we see PlayStation or wireless controller in the text, we swap to PS4. As far as I can tell, that's pretty standard on Unity, but all of this is new to me. Smiley face. We do have override switches, so you can pass dash PS4 or pass or dash Xbox via Steam if you want to force it. Also, yesterday we released a new version that has an option in settings controls to automatically set the controller binding as twin stick, as some people requested that, so you don't have to do it manually. That might be on interest for you. Love, Rob. Thanks, Rob. I, uh, are those the command line switches something that you can do for every game, or is that exclusive to something 8 My Alien? That that's just like something we're gonna. Scott's gonna be like, it, it's a switch in Unity, or he's not. Just like that's not a fucking switch in Unity. Fuck off. Um, we do need to point out like <laughs> all of all of this was added dimension. after yeah. we reviewed the game. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and I will confirm with you know Jordan. I was like, oh yeah, it's got the wrong prompts. So let me try this one. Uh, it's got the opposite wrong prompt. It, impressive. Didn't. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I, no, I, I just played I with the mouse and keyboard because that work is like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know when I, when I'm using my dual shock and I see Xbox prompts, it's just like sigh, unzip, whatever. <laughs> you, you start hammering on the keyboard, Saturn prompts come up. You're like, wow, God. all right, well done. Um, no, it just goes back to like Atari 2600 prompts where it's just like beep one 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 button. Oh, oh I can see that like hitting directional arrows and just like the icon for like the uh, fishing controllers. <laughs> <laughs> Or or, or, or like fishing the, run. Or, or, yeah. or the or the GameCube Donkey Kong bongos. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just nightmare fuel. That'll be kind of brilliant. I'd love that. I need that in my life. But more importantly, we need to get the fuck up out of here. Cause on that bombshell, maybe we're gonna get some music. No? Did you arm track five? I did not. Ah. No, on that bombshell. <laughs> no music then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can always find this gelatinous, brain-infused uh, quesadilla cube. cube. Quesadilla cube. It's new hotness. Cube. Don't, don't tell cube anyone. Cedilla. We're going to pay. Don't tell it. the Star Trek uh, people. Beautiful people. Don't make it a I'm thing. Vince Stone on Twitter. If you want to scream at me, I will at least read it. I promise that. Don't get grumpy at me. Um, also, don't bother sliding into my DMs. That's where just messages go to die. That goes, same thing for Discord, man. If you want to get older, me, just at reply me, because then I'll actually see the damn thing. It'll be brilliant. I'll get back to you. Promise you on that. Uh, what am I? Just, yeah, at Vince in there. At Vin on mast.linuxteamcast.com. We have one of those federated whatever things. Thanks, Civic. You're awesome. That's brilliant. <laughs> I'm Jordan Spung. I want to totally be absorbed in the Cube Sidia. So if you are the Quesadilla Queen, hit me up at Twitter at The Burning Fool or on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon.com. And I would like to eat your brains because I am Zombie Pillar. You can find me at Unaccounted for on Twitter. I can't or tell. I suppose at Unaccounted for speech. on. With a slurred speech, is he drunk or just full of brains? Now I'm I'm, I'm yes. curious, Pedro. Are you are you are you going to be unreasonable? Are you going to eat their eyes? Arr. I I I mean I'm in it for the brain. I, I'm in I, it I for the brain. The eyes. I'm in it. I'm in it for the brain. All right. Beautiful people. Let's roll some credits. All right. Play. Gotta think. Our we're, we're, we got we got we got no more executive producer slots. Sucks to be you. If you want to give us more money, apparently. Um, we 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 got we got to thank the existing ones though. Their names will come up shortly. Because I don't have that list memorized, including the latest one. Yes. We got to yeah, teach man. the conspiracy man four dimensional time quesadilla. I thought I thought I thought it was Pyramid Moon. Anyways, we got to thank Arthurian, Arthur FD, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Bob Bramps, Aldius, Mac Geek, Scoots, Scotty's Biscotti's, Mr. Frock's Claw, Drummer, Frock's Strider, Frock's Claw, <laughs> man. This it's like Mr. Frock's Dog, Frock's Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> We also got to thank David S. Smash the G, Michael, Egal, Jolly, Topical, Gaius, Mathieu, Max, Yabo, Stony Fish, Rudy, 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 KTW, the other Jordan, Evandro, Steve, Michael, Master Dad. We got two Martins. They're spelled Craig, too many Martins. Nathan, the Naked Trust, Simcha, Christian, Pedro, Pedro, it's Simcha. You got to use the Chaf. Oh, Simcha. Eat more brains. Simcha. <laughs> Just imagine oh, you're yeah, eating something forgot, that isn't a brain. Uh, 
We forgot the new executive producer, the only Tiki. Yes. Did make we also got to thank Captain Zero. All right. We also <laughs> got to thank the people behind Ven, who are barely legible, but they're there. So shiny. Oh, so reflective. Mike G, Basil R. Rock, Perrin, wait, wait. Someone. God damn it. More credits. Run it again, man. <laughs> no. We're going through the entire thing. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Died of See you next week. Bye. Linux, Neuro, and all these. Five dudes.